Algebra 2, 2.4b, Interval Notation and Set Builder Notation. We talked about in the last video how if we're graphing solutions for an inequality on a number line, the filled in dot means it's included. Or we could use a bracket with an arrow pointing to the direction of the interval, the solutions that are included. If it's not included, then it's an open circle, like a zero. Or we could use parentheses. So think of the not included like the O, and that's part of the O, all right? And by using parentheses and brackets for graphing, it translates to interval notation easily. So let me step back and show you this big, huge chart I've got here, and this is what we're going to go over. We've got the type of interval, we've got set builder notation, we've got interval notation, and we've got our graph that x is equal to, all right? So this is what we're going to go over. So open intervals mean the numbers are not included. And in set builder notation, we've got the set of all x such that a is less than x. And we use braces. See that? These all have a less than symbol. And because the numbers are not included, they've got parentheses around each side for the interval notation. And this is why I said interval notation translates to the graph very easily. If A has a parentheses next to it, that's how it's graphed, see? Or with an open circle with an arrow going in the direction of infinity. And if it's got parentheses on each side, that means neither A nor B are included, and so they both have an open circle. We've got negative infinity and B, and we always put a parentheses next to infinity symbols. So B is not included, and it goes all the way forever into negatives. Or we can have an open circle going into the negatives. If all the real numbers are the solution, then we just put negative infinity, positive infinity, with parentheses on each side, and our number line goes on forever in both directions. See? If we have a half-open interval, then that means one side is closed. It's half-open. And if you look, they have or equal to, don't they? Each one in set builder notation has an or equal to. When one side's closed, one side's got the parentheses to show it's closed, but the other side's got a box bracket to show it's open. And that's exactly how it's graphed. We'd have a bracket on one side and a parentheses on the other. But in this case, it's infinity, so it goes on forever. Here for A and B, this is a parentheses, and that's a bracket, and that's how it's graphed, a parentheses and a bracket to show it's closed and doesn't include it or it includes it. See that? Now these signs have swapped places. See that? The less than moved over here and the and this sign moved over here. So these switched sides. We had a parentheses over here and a bracket. Now we have a bracket and a parentheses. See? Because the sign switched. And that's how it would be graphed. And it would be the opposite of that one. See? If x is less than or equal to b, if it's or equal to, that means it includes b. So we've got negative infinity and including b. So b is included. We've got our bracket, and we've got a filled in dot. If it's a closed interval, then the numbers on both sides are included. And we have it in interval notation with brackets on both sides of a and b. So x is equal to anything in here, including a and b. They're both included. And then we have our interval with two filled in dots. See? And to read set builder notation, if x is greater than 3, we would read it as the set of all x. And that means such that x is greater than 3. And we write it in the braces, in the curly braces. OK? We've got a couple rules. When writing solutions in interval notation, smaller numbers are on the left and the larger numbers are on the right. This would mean 2 is not included, but 3 is, and the solution is in between there. And remember, we always use parentheses next to an infinity symbol. We never use a bracket. And the minute you see an or equal to, we use a bracket or we use the filled in dot to show that it's including it because it says it could be equal to it. OK? So I know this can be confusing, and if you can find a way to help you remember that the filled in dot means it's included and the open one is like a zero, so it's not included. Okay, that might help you. 
Our next video is 2.4c and we're going to talk about the addition property of inequality for inequalities. And of course you can go into the description of this playlist of this video and see the Algebra 2 playlist and how it's growing. You can click on it and see the videos that we've done so far to review or to study for a test. Okay? All right. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next video. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.